Hello my lovelies! Happy November! November is one of my favorite months of the year as I love wearing my oversized jumpers and leggings, trying out all the festive drinks, having cozy night ends with my husband and the dogs, and sipping on my mocha lattes while marathoning one BL after another. I feel like we are truly blessed this year with a colossal number of BLs coming out one after another. It is officially impossible right now to watch all of them. So I thought, let me just talk about some of the BLs that I've been watching right now and what I think about them. And of course, I can never ignore doing my favorite activity, reading BL webtoons and novels no matter how busy I am. So I will also share the ones that I've been reading right now. So without further ado, let's get started with the first one. I didn't think Bond could get any hotter than he already was in Until We Meet Again, but boy oh boy was I so wrong. Bond has become daddier and sexier in between us and I couldn't take my eyes off him the whole time. Also, I think he looks better with his hair down. What do you guys think? You like his hair tied back or open? The first episode of Between Us was really well done and got me hooked. I have read the novel Hemp Rope so I knew that their love story started at the same time as Dean and Farms. Although a lot of scenes were repeated from Until We Meet Again, I enjoyed rewatching them. Om Flu's chemistry was shining as always and Boston and Sammy also looked really cute together. The last scene of the first episode had me melting into the floor because of how hot it was. The grabbing of Team's waist and planting a kiss on his mouth, the luring him to Vin's room, the asking of the questions was all so seductive and captivating. I honestly can't wait for the next episode. I'm really enjoying watching My Tooth Your Love right now. Chin Xuan and Bai Lang's love story is unique and charming. I love how they take care of each other. I wait every single week to see how their relationship is developing. Bai Lang clearly suffers from a deep psychological trauma and I'm glad Jin Xuan is helping him overcome it. Jin Xuan has also been betrayed in love before which has made him a distant and aloof person. For the first time in a while, he has developed feelings for someone. In the next episode, I really want to see Bai Lang letting go of the fear of hurting Jin Xuan and accepting him wholeheartedly. I'm also liking the story of second couple Alex and RJ. It seems like RJ will have to do a lot of crafting to get Alex's attention, as so far he only thinks of him as a spoiled kid. Typical of Taiwanese dramas, both the couples have excellent chemistry and are keeping me on my toes at the moment. Kabe Koji is a very special series because it is whimsical yet deep. It deals with topics like childhood trauma and low self-esteem in a comedic way. I love Isai and Mamochi's relationship. The way they support each other and lean on each other warms my heart. I just wish that Mamochi realizes that Isai does not just like him as a friend but he has real feelings for him. Yamada's character is probably my all-time favorite support character. I love everything about her. She embraces her Fujoshi self and fangirls over Mamochi, which is adorable to see. She always guides and motivates Mamochi every step of the way and fiercely protects him from bullies. I enjoy her character as much as Mamochi and Isai's relationship. Choco Milkshake is my weekly dose of serotonin boost. Every time I watch it, it lifts my spirits and makes me smile throughout the episode. It's a simple, no fuss drama that is a quick watch every single week. Although I will say that they really miss the opportunity of Jungwoo, Choco and Milk to be a throuple. <laughs> In my eyes, all three of them have incredible chemistry with each other and their relationship could have been turned into a cute and wholesome poly relationship. The role of Jungwoo's uncle looks very unnecessary at this point, but let's see if he does more than just stand behind the counter and look pretty every episode. I'm loving watching Remember Me every week mostly because I'm very interested in Name's journey of how he overcomes his speech impediment. Golf and Gun also have an engaging storyline, however, I fail to understand why Gun can't come clean to golf about being number 8. I get that when he was a teenager, he had acne problems, due to which he got shy to reveal his identity to golf. But what's the problem now? Why is he hesitating so much to reveal himself? I feel like it's unfair on golf and when he will eventually find out, he's going to be really mad. 
Non and Shampoo's story is completely unnecessary for me and they don't interest me at all. I dislike Nan's character and cringe whenever I see him and his ugly wig on screen. Champ and his grandfather's relationship is heartwarming and heartbreaking to see. I feel like he's going to pass away soon and that will leave Champ with a huge hole in his heart. I'm really angry at M right now and how he's ignoring Name. I wish Name comes out of his shell soon and develops himself to have a life outside of his home, makes new friends and forgets Aim so that Aim can experience the taste of his own medicine. Love in the air just wrapped up. How are we feeling guys? Me personally, I enjoyed every single episode of this show and a huge void is now created in my life because I really looked forward to Thursday evenings every week. Both the couple's stories were engaging and interesting in their own right. However, I do have to say that the chemistry between Noel and Boss was slightly better and more natural than Fort and Pete. As one of you lovelies rightly said this to me on Instagram, Fort and Pete are good actors but when they were playing their characters it looked like they were acting. While when Boss and Noel were on screen it looked like they were a real couple and we were just watching them live their life on screen. The special episode of Love in the Air will air on 26th November and will be available to watch on Vimeo for $12.99. The chemistry between these two is making me crazy. I'm simply obsessed with this show. It's very much giving my beautiful man vibes in the sense that it is such a different take on a typical high school love story. It is not fluffy by any means as Koichi is literally a walking corpse, but their interactions are fluffy and sexually charged. The ending of this drama is probably going to be sad, but I hope they make it a good ending by miraculously making Koichi alive again or at least let him stay by Omi's side for eternity. However they decide to progress the story, I'm here for all of it and can't wait to watch the next episode. To be 100% honest with you guys, these are the only 7 BLs that I'm currently updated on. All the other ones I've put on hold until more episodes get released. I feel like these are the only ones that are exciting enough for me to eagerly wait for new episodes every week. I'm watching others too but very far behind in those. With regards to novels and webtoons, the novel I'm reading right now is a Japanese yaoi novel called In Love and on Fire. This is an enemies to lovers turn story about virgin firefighter Adachi who learns one day that his disagreeable co-worker Nimori is gay. Thinking he's found something that he can hold over Nimori, he keeps teasing him, but one day ends up embracing Nimori himself. It's a short 12 chapter novel with a good plot and a decent amount of smut. I'm halfway through it and so far really enjoying their bickering and verbal attacks on each other. I'm also currently reading a Korean webtoon, I can hear it without, without a microphone. Can you guess what attracted me to pick this manhwa? The story is about a passionate fan, Sado Won, who loves watching the live streams of sexy BJ Sol Bomb, who has an innocent face but a seductive body. Sado Won is annoyed by his neighbor who keeps getting parcels but never opens the door himself. So Sado Won has to deliver his parcels to him every day. Little does Sado Won know that the annoying neighbor next door is the man of his dreams, BL Sol Bomb. Can the passionate fan Sado Won and Sigbang BJ Sol Bomb form an exhilarating relationship beyond the wall? So that is all I have for this week's BL Chit Chat video. I'm very interested to know which BLs are you currently watching and reading. Do let me know in the comment section below and I will see you all with a new and exciting video about BLs I'm excited to watch in 2023 in a couple of days. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Love you all. Bye.